Good mo good morning, everybody. How you doing? Hope it hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great morning. Wow, it is bright. I am going bass fishing today. And I will pay you guys 100 bucks if you can catch five bass longer than what I catch today. Yeah, you heard me right. This is not clickbait, okay? I am hosting a tournament on the iCatch app. I will link it down below. I will kind of go throughout the day today and like explain like explain a little bit more about it and show you guys how to do it. But essentially, I'm hosting a nationwide tournament for like this week from right now to where you're watching it to the, through the next weekend. And uh, I'm going to be participating today. These The fish catches I do today are going to be what I enter into the tournament. And if you, if you watching can catch a, lo a longer bag, basically, it's not weight, it's length. If you can catch a bigger bag than I do, you'll win 100 bucks first place, 50 bucks second place, okay? I will link all the, de the details down below and I'll kind of show you how to do this. But anyways, there's every, there's a rooster, there's a, there's a, there's a pheasant, but there's other people launching, so we got to get going. Ooh, here we go. Look at that. Look at that sunrise first off. And then look at that beautiful 10 pounder. That's what we're going to be taking out today. Get this little thing of a bobber undone. Oh, that's probably not a good thing. All right. I don't even need to start with the big motor. I'm going to start on these rocks. Start throwing the crankbait. See if I can catch a big old fish. I'm going to start off with a nice little chartreuse crank. Water's looking a touch blue, so that's my go-to. Wind is actually perfect. It's, I mean, if I was topwater fishing, I'd be a little bit upset right now. But for the fact that I'm going to be trying to catch these baits or the, these fish on moving baits, this little crosswind across these rocks is good. Except that wind is really cold. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing. Probably not. This reel, this reel is squeaking, so I apologize for that. I need to put some oil on it. There's one. There's one hooked up, hooked up. There we go. What was that, the second cast? Oh, son, here we go. That's what we talking now, boys. Pick the right bait, clearly. How big is she, though? Oh, there we go. There we go. That'll do it. That'll do it for the tournament. Come on now, girly. We don't need an ax in here. There we go, that's a nice long fish. That's what I'm after, folks. There's like five people at the boat ramp right now probably looking at me watching me catch this. Okay, so you drag the drag the lines over the ruler, drag it over the nose, hit confirm. All right, got her got her measured. See you, buddy. Put it in as a large mouth. Done. 16.47 inches. That is my first fish, folks. There you go. That's added. Let's see if we can catch another one. All right, guys. I actually just moved and um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about a little bit more about the tournament. I put the boat in the water because I was I was nervous that there was other people launching the boat and there was one spot that I wanted to hit and that's where I caught the first fish was on that that first stretch is always so good so I wanted to talk about the tournament but then I I went fishing and caught a fish in the same cast but now it, it's actually blowing so hard out there like it is so windy and uh, so I basically came back to this little creek here where it's blowing less a little bit it, it's less windy back here essentially so I'm gonna I'm gonna take take just a minute of your time just trust me because if you can beat me today you're gonna win a hundred bucks or fifty dollars okay and uh, and then I think there's third fourth and fifth place prizes as well but again it'll all be linked down below if you guys want to read more so this is how I catch works I will link the tournament link down below you basically click it you download the app it's on your phone it's called iCatch you download it you look at the tournaments you sign up the important part is I will link a YouTube video down below you have to watch this video before you compete because it'll teach you how to submit your catches, which you guys saw me do on that first catch and it's a little bit confusing in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it is easy peasy lemon squeezy. But essentially all you need is an eight inch ruler of some of some kind. Um, iCatch actually has these, but then you can just use like a tape measure or whatever you want. But again, I will link the video down below. I don't want to bore you guys by explaining on exactly how to do it, but essentially you catch fish, you lay the ruler next to it, you take a photo of it and it's got technology that automatically measures the fish Fish and it's 99% accurate and then you submit your catch and it'll keep it'll keep track of your best five it'll automatically cull for you and basically you can compete in all these tournaments and me and the entire Guggen squad have been developing this app with iCatch for like the last at least a year and a half uh, it's taken a long time to get to this point so we're super excited I have been kind of having you guys do a few tournaments here and there but now we are ready for like a full send launch I will link it down below trust me you guys are gonna want to you guys are gonna want to check it out in this weekend only this this tournament that I'm hosting is free okay it's the only free one that we've ever done it is free so you you enter you cost you absolutely nothing and you can win cash that's 
how it's going. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Let's see if we can catch some more fish. All right, so this next spot, gonna be throwing the black and blue chatterbait. I'm sorry for throwing the same baits, guys. I, I like. I really don't want to. I really do want to mix it up, and that's kind of why I wanted to throw the crankbait today because I haven't been crankbait fishing really. I mean, I've caught some fish on cranks, but not not a ton. But it's just like I just catch so many fish with these baits, I, I can't stop myself. Like I would hate to go fishing to go film a video for you guys and teach you guys like you know what I'm doing and not catch fish because of a bait that I'm not throwing. So hopefully you guys understand and you're not getting too tired of me using the same baits. Hopefully there's a big old giant next to this bridge. Oh, that was a pike. Just broke me clean off. Yep, big old pike. Done. Gone. It hit it twice. 17 pound fluorocarbon. Literally just clean snap. Oh, that sucks. That's the first sign of a pike at this lake that I've seen yet this year. Bummer. There it goes. All right, well, we could tie another one on. I don't, I don't really want to throw a steel leader, but if I break another one off, I will be putting on a freaking steel leader. Let me tell you what. Yep, that was a fish. Son of a gun. Oh, I made a bad cast. He might still eat. He might still eat. My line got caught on a branch. I made a bad cast. He smoked it when it fell in there, though. Let's see. What's he going to do? Is he going to bite it? Oh, sh darn it. That's what happens when you make a bad cast, folks. My line was over the top of a tree branch, and he felt it when he ran, and he spit it before I could set the hook. There was one in the bush. Son of a biscuit. Ah, oh, that looked like a good one too. I'm surprised he spit it so quick. Usually you can catch those fish. A little bit finicky this morning, eh? You a little bit, a little bit finicky? Is that what's going on, Gregory? Gregory, just bite the damn bait, all right? Be nice to me. Bite the bait, please. Well, on a good note, I think the fish might be back here. If I just had that one, there should be more. There's plenty of trees between me and basically the other side of the lake. So lesson learned. Don't make inaccurate casts with your line hanging over a branch because the bass is gonna feel it and then let go. Take notes, folks, take notes. There's one, there's one. Got him, out of the trees. Out of the trees, swimming it actually. Come on now. Yes, that's fish number two. Let's go, that's another big fish. Not giant, but I mean long fish. Don't you get down, you get down there, mister. No, you just relax, 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 Richard chill out that's what we after now basically skipped it up under that tree and was swimming it out little dude smoked it. you can see they are starting to do their little deal on this on the beds his tail's all beat up from fanning so they're getting close he has been caught before too right there interesting so i'll try to explain this one better open up the eye catch app okay go to tournaments the ones that you've joined what you once you've joined see i got fish against flare click on that you hit add a catch so you lay the fish down, put the ruler below the fish, kind of make sure he's, he's laying nice and flat. Line him up, snap the photo, perfect. Then you can take your fish, put him back. See, little buddy? You, want, you don't want to keep him out of the water too long. Then you've got your phone, and all you do is you move, you move the lines over the nose, put it over the tail, and then on the bottom one, you want to put it at zero, and then you want to put it at eight. It's eight inches. You want to have eight inches on it, just like that. Hit confirm, label the species as a largemouth, and you hit submit. Then hit done, there you go. All right, it's been added. I got 33.10 inches is what I've got for my two fish. You guys, remember, links down below, come beat me. Got him, got him, out of the bush. Dude, these fish are so tight in that cover. There's, there he is, come on. Get up in here, Woo! Oh gosh, just about fell. I can't believe I got that fish out. I don't know if you guys saw how far back I, I cast it in there, but another long fish, I'm getting lucky. These fish are so skinny, well this one is at least. Nasty looking thing, it's like mangy looking. Look at that, look at that little big old sore on him. Thing looks freaking gross, but there's another one. Let's see, set him down here. We'll get a nice measurement. All right, open up the tournament. Add a catch. Hold still, buddy. There we go. Put the fish back. See, little guy. Now just move the move the lines to the tail. Move it right on the tip of the nose there. 
Move it to zero. And move it to eight. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, folks. Actually, actually, get a little closer on the eight there. Right, right there. Okay. Get a little closer on the zero there. You want to make sure this stuff is precise. You don't want to lose by some millimeters because you messed up the, the measuring. Looks good. Hit confirm. Enter in the species as a largemouth bass and hit submit. All right, that one was 16.66, hit done. And I was gonna tell you guys, um, if you're fishing somewhere, you might be thinking, well, Flair, what if you're fishing somewhere without cell phone service? Because I mean, that's that's a lot of times where I'm fishing. There is a button on there. All you do is you hit safe catch for later. And then once you get home, you know, get to your hotel or whatever, wherever, where you've got some service, you just upload the catch afterwards. So we've integrated that feature because basically when the app first came out, that wasn't a thing. And, uh, and I was like, you know, I fish all the time where there's not, Wi-Fi so or, or not Wi-Fi but cell phone service so we integrated that so don't worry if you guys don't have cell phone service where you go fishing I, we've got you covered another tip I'm gonna give you guys I've said this before but make sure you check your line you know that one basically is on the front of the deck and I cast way in the bush and and set the hook on that fish I was actually really surprised I got him out um, but yeah make sure you check your line and make sure you're using a heavier out I mean I'm using the flares frog and flipping stick these guys are still in stock we've got a few left I will link these down below as well as including the rod the reel the line and even this little bait here if you guys want the plastic the hook the bobber stop the the weight all that junk everything will be linked on the description as always because I do that in every video there's one there's one yep, get out of the get out of the bush there we go we got him out we got him out baby get up in here Woo! there we go fourth fish baby not a big one god i got excited on that one <laughs> it is so fun fishing in this heavy heavy brush definitely not a big one hopefully i can pull this guy out eventually but throw this guy down on the uh the eye catch ruler lay it down say cheese okay little buddy i'll let you go bye bye Hit confirm, that's 1423. A little guy, hopefully again we can can, uh, can call that one out. Yep, well, I'm moving. I uh, I went up and down this creek twice, caught, what did I catch? Three fish? I still need my my one, I, I still need another fish basically to uh, to fill my limit. So I'm gonna head to the main lake and start cranking on those rocks again, throw some shatter baits around, maybe drag a jig, but I need to catch one more fish to fill my limit for this tournament. And then it's all up to you guys to try to beat me, to try to win some cash. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm a mess right now. There's one. Oh, there's one. That's a good fish, too. That's a good fish, too. Okay, we're hooked up right off the bridge. That's why you make those parallel casts, folks. Oh, barely hooked. Don't do it. Don't do it. There we go. Look at that. Barely hooked in the side. The side of the face, not even in the mouth. Literally hooked in the side of the face. There's my fifth fish, baby. Yes. Finally, I came back, made a move. Just went back to cranking rocks like I did this morning. Picked up one little dude. That'll fill the limit there, folks. Say cheese. Got it. All right, little dude. You got a pudgy little guy. See you, buddy. All right, you guys can somewhat see what's going on. I took a picture of the fish regardless. All right, move the bars around. And that one was 16.52. That's not bad, folks. There's my five. I'm done. Finish the tournament. It's over now. It's up to you guys to see if you can beat me. Perfect. That's all we needed right there. I am done fishing for the day. I caught my five. I mean, I could have stayed and probably caught a few more fish. I've got a lot of stuff to do, okay? I got, got a lot of busy day. I wanted to get out for a few hours this morning, catch some fish. It is now noon. I got to go back. I, uh, yeah, I just got a lot of work to do. I basically, that's all I'm going to say. I've got some big things coming, and you guys will hear about that probably within the next month or two, maybe, that I got to go handle today. But that's the end of today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Drop a comment down below. Flipping the thick brush and cranking them rocks for them spring bass. And, uh, yeah, like I said, everything for the eye catch will be linked down below. I know a lot of it's kind of confusing because it's new technology. It's not out there. This has never been done before. We are the first people to ever do this. So, again, all the information that you need will be linked down below. Check it out. Come fish against me. Go win some money catching fish. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace!